this episode of Cobb TV, we are talking about the drumming style of Phil Selway from Radiohead. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, when Phil Selway first started playing drums as a teenager, two of his biggest influences were Topper from The Clash and Stephen Morris from Joy Division and New Order, who Stephen Morris actually influenced him to work with drum machines and electronic percussions in a different way as opposed to seeing them as something that would hinder your creativity. He actually uses it as a springboard for more creativity. As Phil Selway once said in an AMA on Reddit, drum machines are friends, not foes. So let's get right into it. Radiohead is known for using a lot of different unusual time signatures and right off the bat on the first album, Pablo Honey, first track, You, you can hear him playing three measures of 6-8 followed by a measure of 5-8. Now Radiohead definitely stepped up their game as songwriters on the album, The Benz, and the opening track, Planet Telex, showcases a constant barrage of kick drum flurries from Phil Selway. Radiohead was also extremely influenced by hip-hop grooves and you can hear this on the track High and Dry where it was actually recorded without the front bass drum head and they used a lot of the mixing from the room mic to get that really thunderous bass drum sound. On the album OK Computer, you can hear the style of Radiohead fully formed. And on songs like Paranoid Android, Phil Selway really navigates through the 7-8 time signature passages really, really clean. <laughs> Perhaps my favorite track off the album would have to be Exit Music for a Film, where we see Phil Selway playing almost Nick Mason style grooves and drum fills. Kid A, we hear more electronic sounds being incorporated into Radiohead's music, and Phil Selway knows how to create the perfect drum part around these things. And on the song Optimistic, you can hear him playing a tribal groove on the toms with mallets. you have tracks like Morning Bell, which features really, really cool drumming in 5-4 time. On 
an album Amnesiac, we have more jazz influences seeping into Radiohead's sound. And Phil Selway plays a jazz waltz style groove on the song Pyramid Song, but it's in 4-4. Four, four. So really he's breaking up the pattern of four into two phrases of three and a phrase of two to create that really, really unique sounding groove. track I Might Be Wrong, we can hear Phil Selway really locking in with the guitars on that track and coming up with a solid and unique groove. This next track off of the album, Hail to the Thief, a lot of people consider it to be in 10-4, but if we're counting it, we're really counting one measure of 4-4 and a measure of 12-8, so basically four quarter notes and four dotted quarter notes. You might want to count it one, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a... track Mixomitosis has a really unique and unusual 8-bar drum pattern and the version I'm going to demonstrate for you is actually from the basement sessions they did for In Rainbows. Speaking of In Rainbows, that opening track, 15 Step, features Phil Selway's ability to play with electronic percussion and drum machines, as I mentioned before, and not to mention the song is also in 5-4 time. In Rainbows might very well be my favorite Radiohead album, and it's extremely drum heavy. The opening to Weird Fishes, you can hear Phil Selway counting off the groove and going right into it, and I love how sparse the bass drum playing is on that groove specifically. My favorite percussion track on In Rainbows is actually going to be Reckoner. And then of course you have the grooved House of Cards, which almost reminds me of a reggae feel but with straight eighth notes kick drum on the back beat and then the turnaround we have a 16th note rim click and doing a four and on the kick drum and the turnaround just makes the groove sound really really unusual and really unique for something that's so simple.
one of the busiest drumming tracks on the album King of Limbs is Feral with classic Phil Selway ghost notes and strategically placed accents. On the track Separator, we have another very unique but simple drum beat. And this drum beat was actually copied verbatim by the indie band Greeting Committee. And it's gonna sound like this. Yes, we can see how influential Radiohead is as a band, as well as Phil Selway as a drummer. And on the last album, Moon Shaped Pool, one of my favorite tracks is going to be in 6-4 time and has a really, really cool pattern. you have the linear style drum grooves on tracks like Identikit. And there you have it, just a few small examples of Phil Selway's drumming in Radiohead. I transcribed all these beats and you can find the sheet music for that on my Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Cobb the Drummer. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.